Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Lee. I am a student of North Central University. Today, I would like to present to you my proposal. The subjects of my work is designing an intelligent cane for visually impaired people. Internet of Things changed our world. Over the past few years, Internet of Things has become one of the most important technologies. The emergence of wireless networks, mobile device, and new connect smart device has transformed our lives. This emergence creates the Internet of Things become an integral part of our lives. The arrival of Internet of Things also benefits disabled people. What opportunity this technology will offer to us and to disabled people? The Internet of Things device embedded with sensor, software, and other technologies to connect and exchange data with other devices. Many devices use these technologies and is opening the door for our new development. The Internet of Things make possible because it's low cost, low power sensor, connectivity, it utilize cloud computing platform, also have machine learning and artificial intelligence. We can utilize these technologies to transform device for disabled people. So what is this proposal is about? This paper proposed to design a smart cane for blind people. This paper has four segments. First, we define proposal statement, relevance, and significance. Second, we, it, we review the remote works from different authors. Third, we present the methodology. And the last part is the conclusions with remarks. Visually impaired people, who are they? What are their problems? The World Health Organization report 39 million people worldwide are blind. Blind people experience difficulty to communicate and sense surrounding objects. We sometimes see them on the street using a cane to walk across the road. The Internet of Things offered to us there are more sensing components, low cost, easy to implement. There are many smart devices have wireless, network, GPS, and many more features. The technology offers new applications for collecting data as well as enabling device to device communication. These applications are everywhere uh, and at any time. What is our opportunity here? We identify this opportunity to design an intelligent cane helping blind people to navigate. At the same time, it is used to access home smart device. Visually impaired people suffer from orientation and mobility problems because of their illness. They typically use a cane to walk safely and efficiently. The emergence of mobile computing and Internet of Things can open up innovative opportunities for people with disability to technology uses. In this proposal, we emphasize making an intelligent cane. This device has the ability connecting to smart home device and interact with mobile apps on smartphone. Our cane is of much use in helping a blind person become more autonomous. The objectives of this proposal are firstly we will identify the device features and functionality. Secondly we will examine the feasibilities of the design. 
We will investigate the practical ability including hardware, software, and development. Thirdly, we will focus on minimizing the development costs and production costs because our objective is to make the device as an affordable price for the users. And then we identify the security issues of the user's privacy challenges. Finally, we will develop the, a plan to build this device. A prototype should be a light, compact, adaptable, and versatile. My relative is a blind person for 40 years. I witnessed the difficulties of blind people. At the meantime, I'm a student and I gain knowledge in Internet of Things technologies to my school. I am inspired by reading an article in the assignment. The work of the authors is about IoT for people with special needs. Because transformations of Internet of Things, it makes me wonder that this pervasive technology will smooth out blind person frustration. So I use my knowledge in my study to design an intelligent cane for my relative. In this section, we look at all the research works. We want to review their techniques in their research. The work of Shaman is utilizing ultrasonic sensor to detect obstacle. The work of Abhan is utilizing multiple types of sensors to detect obstacles. They use ultrasonic sensor to detect objects. They use RI sensor to detect the stair step. And even they use water sensors to detect water puddle. Another work is change and his uh, team use different approach. They combine eye classes, smart cane with sensors, GPS, and mobile device, mobile app. They design intelligent assistance system for blind people. I like the idea they use GPS to capture the location. The mobile app sends information stored in the cloud. This data is sent to his relative or service center if the user fall or in case of the accident. Proposed uh, to plan the design in fixed six phase. Gathering requirements. What are the requirements for this device to make it useful? We answer the question what we need to implement in order to make this device useful for user. In feasibility study, ask ourselves questions. Can we make it? Is this practical? Use our assessment to evaluate how can we make it possible. In designing an implementation prototype phase, we build a prototype for software development. We program the code, implement the functions, we make the hardware running, we write the code for components, we implement the functions. In testing phase, testing is required for any development process. We revise, debug, modify, and so on. Do our best to make the function work, we drive the code, clean out the box. We do test, update, change until we have the prototype working correctly. At the deployment phase, we use our experience from prototype hardware, software, and build the final product. The contributions of these proposals are, first, we make an intelligent case for blind people. Second, we learn from the making process. Our work is a good example for students. We can use this as a reference for other research. Finally, we learn how to identify the requirements. We learn how to build a prototype and to create a software framework for this device developments. 
we identify the limits in this proposal. First, we only address in general in the designs. This study omit many things. For example, like the implementations is missing in details. Secondly, this study did not discuss the security and privacy. We know that security and privacy are big concern for users. Finally, we did not address all the factors like usability, safety, and reliability. These factors are required for any design. Gentlemen, this is my final words. Thank you for listening my presentation. Bye-bye.